In this video, I'd like to show you another new piece of PHP 8 syntax, the match expression. It's a cool feature that in many cases will be a better choice than using the switch expression. I've coded up a simple switch here. So we get the status code. If it's 200 or 300, we set this variable to OK. If it's 400, we'll use this and so on. Of course, at the end, we have a default that we can set. And then we set the variable to unknown status code. And like you expect, all of these cases end with a break. Let's take a look at how this code looks like if we were to use a match expression. And here is that equivalent code. And like you see, it is much shorter. You can have multiple values per arm, and you don't need to specify any break keyword here, which makes it much more readable than the switch variant. Let's take a look at the difference between those two. First, we are going to execute the code. So the status code is on 200. I've got the result from the switch statement in message from switch, and the result from the match in message from match, and we're going to output them both. Let's run the code. And right now we both get OK, because our status code is 200. Now instead of an integer here, let's use a string and run the code again. And now we see a difference between the two. A switch statement does a loose type check. So a string 200 is the same as an integer 200, but the match statement does a strict type check. So we pass in a string, these are all integers, so it falls in the default case unknown status code, and that is what gets printed here. Another difference between match and switch is how unknown values are used. So let's change this to 999. Let's remove the default here and run it again. And you can see that the code doesn't blow up. We get a warning to warn us that there is an undefined variable here. Let's see what happens if we remove the default from match and run the code again. And you can see that this throws an uncaught, unhandled match error, which in my opinion is the better behavior. Let's get those defaults back and run the code again. So both times unknown status code because we have 999 here, which doesn't appear in the cases or in these arms. A final thing that I want to show you is that you can throw an, an exception of your own right here. Throw new exception, unknown status code. Let's run it. Now you can see an exception of our own being thrown here. 